to Untold Perks, my name is Ina and today is a self-improvement Saturday. I hope you enjoyed your vacation, but let's continue talking about reading today. To be more specific, let's talk about whether you should make notes and if you should make notes when you read the book, then how should you make those notes? Uh, so let's be quick. Uh, the first question, should you make notes? Depends on the literature, depends on what kind of books you read. If it is classics, if it is fantasy, then most probably you don't need making notes. You might get some insight, then you can just note it down in the notebook or, for example, in the Word uh, on laptop and that's it. Um, when should you make notes? Well, you should make notes if you read a self-help book or if you um, read some educational stuff, for example, if you want to learn about investments, then most probably you will have a lot of new and complicated information and in order to understand it better in order to memorize this information you will need to take use of a notebook or your laptop so you will need to make notes um, also self-help yeah books for example if you want to learn about time management or if you want to learn about meditation or leadership topics then you will of course um, also discover a lot of new information and you should all, always uh, make notes as well when you read a self-help books but of course also depends on the topic um, how should you make notes well um, for me what I usually do I always divide this um, actually area of making notes into two steps um, the first step is um, taking a pencil marker and stickers and when you read a book while reading you make notes you write something down with the in the book um, with a pencil you highlight the most important concepts and ideas uh, you uh, put stickers uh, when you think that okay this chapter is very re is relevant and I need to come back to it later um, how it looks well this is the book I recently read yeah it's got a lot of <laughs> stickers and also you will see here quite a lot of uh, highlight highlighted sentences concepts yeah it's here then also here so it's quite a lot um, and then when you finish reading a book, oh, by the way, wait, I can also show you the stickers. Yeah, by the way, I'm gonna be a, a blogger. Yeah, see how beautiful they are. Um, yeah, the stickers. When you finish reading a book, you need to summarize everything what you've read and you need to know how you can apply the information you read to your life, to your career. And for this purpose, I suggest to write a summary um, and then you can use a notebook. This is what I did before. So I had a notebook where I wrote summaries of the book I read. Uh, I used different colorful utensils. Um, it worked for me before, but now I understand that it takes quite a lot of time and I don't want to um, spend this time on this anymore. Um, also in the in 21st century, I think a lot of people prefer digital version. Uh, you can use Word, you can create a table per topic. Um, as an example, you want to learn more about leadership, then you create a table for leadership uh, topic and you write uh, the book and author name and then you write the concepts, the, the ideas, the insights you got from those books and then basically you have an overview of the um, topic leadership from different authors. It is also one of the ways, but um, the only not very convenient thing is that you will need to create the tables by yourself and I mean, it also takes quite a lot of time. Uh, therefore, my suggestion to you, if you prefer also now to have a digital version, uh, to use apps. The first app is pretty well known, it's called Notion. They already have ready templates um, uh, called reading lists and there you can actually write a book name, author's name, um, the date when you start, when you finished uh, reading a book. Um, you can rate it, yeah, how you like it or maybe you didn't like it. And then you can also put them in concepts and ideas and what you learn from the book. It's pretty convenient. And the second app I uh, discovered recently is awesome. It's called Miro. You can use it actually for everything, not only for reading books, but you can, re uh, you can use it for even the university stuff because they have a lot of frameworks and templates there. Also mind maps. Uh, mind maps also 
very useful when you read a book because if you read a very complicated literature and you need to understand how the concepts presented in the book are connected to each other, then mind, mind map can uh, be a very good uh, way for you to actually analyze what you read and understand the source better. Um, yeah. So Miro, I'm gonna show you, but as I told you, this is a very convenient tool. And uh, at the end of the day, the most important is that you actually read something and you um, try to understand what you read and you experiment, always experiment because there is no way which works for everyone, yeah? You always need to figure out what works for you the best and then just do it, you know? Just start doing it, just uh, figure out and you're gonna be more than satisfied, I'm pretty sure. So that's it for today and I hope to see you next week. Um, I wish you a productive and full of joy days, yeah? Okay, see you next week, bye!